Yes, like I said, YOLO, you only live once. Nas die yona sanduku ya gorofa. When you die, you die alone. You'll be buried alone. And not so many people will cry for you. Um, I, some of them will just even laugh at you. When you are there in that coffin, they'll be pretending they are crying. Lisa Manta. Mama David. Mama Lisa Manta. But if inside they are, they are just laughing. They're like, hey, how can I get hold of them shoes and bags and whatever? I so hear you saying hello and i've not heard from you for three years and i know you're calling me because you need some money mm. i am not going to continue with that conversation I've, oh sometimes they are like unataka nini <laughs> and some of them will be like eh hey, amekuwa murudi nowadays nilimpigia sima can you use unataka nini what do you want hey guys welcome to my channel is here can you be here in italy another saturday another chit chat video and in today's video i want to share with you a few bad experiences that i've had with people either their family members friends uh, that have made me cut them out of my life uh, for good uh, yes uh, like i was looking at them people that are blocked <laughs> <laughs> on my phone the people that i don't talk to deliberately like i don't talk to them i was like mm -mm. i've cut a lot of people out of my life like here in italy i was counting the kenyan friends that i can say i am friends with and they are less than five yes and i remember when i came here back in 2009 i wanted to have as many kenyan friends as possible but then along the way i realized mm -mm. Some of them, uh, we don't even ha need to go and have coffee together. Like, they are not good for my mental health. And the other day, I came across this quote uh, that went like, um, keep an eye on those people who don't clap for you when you win. Do you know those people who will never be happy for you? You have some good news to share with them. They really don't care. Like, the other day, I was the, at the market, and I met this Kenya that I've not seen for quite some time. And she was like, how is life? And I'm like, I'm happy that my son... Um, we start uh, playing at this uh, football academy in September. My daughter is really doing well with swimming. And uh, by the way, this woman did not even say congratulations. Like, I repeated two times. You know, I'm so happy and proud of myself and my son and my children. They're really doing well in school. And this woman did not even care. The only th thing that she wanted to talk about is the problems that she had. Mm -hmm. And if it was me, she told me, she had some good news. I could have been, congratulations, I'm so happy for you. That is such a milestone for your child. But this woman, uh, she really did not even care. Like, I did, she did not even hear the good news that I shared with her. And I was like, mm -mm, this is one of them people who don't clap for you when you win. And you, on the other hand, when they win, you'll be there cheering for them. Like, yay, I'm so proud of you, girl, that you bought a new house. Yay, I'm so proud of you guys that you got them documents. Because do uh, uh, Italian documents are super, super um, important here. Like, them permanent documents, you clap for them. Yay, you got them permanent documents and whatever. But there are some people who will never clap for you. Strangers have clapped for me more than some family members, more than some uh, than some friends. Even when I share that video where my son, I said my son will start playing professional football. So many people uh, DM'd me. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of your son. But some family members, they really don't care. And you want me to keep them people in my life. But then I realized the past two years, I've really cut so many people out of my life. And I don't care how close I was with some people. When I realized that they're just toxic, they don't care about your mental health. They don't care whatever is going on in your life. The only thing maybe they care is when they have problems, you run and help them. Maybe the only thing that they care about is when you help them financially. But uh, mentally, they are not doing anything for you. Even when you tell them you are sad, they really don't care. Because there are some people who really don't care. And I've weeded, like I've removed weeds out of my life and thanks to therapy i've been able to see things clearly like i've been like being able to measure some people and i'm like hmm, all these years i really don't feel like they were there for me and i realized life is super short yes i've never seen a double decker coffin that uh, when you die you get buried to people when you die, you die alone. And not so many people by there will cry for you. Some of them will come to your funeral. They'll be like, Woye, Woye, Sasa Zobi Atu Ameachia Nani. Woye, Sasa Yonyuba Ameachia Nani. Woye. They will come to your village to bury you with them big black sunglasses with a bottle of water just to come and check where your mama lives. And they're like, mm. 
mm, alikuwa naishi Nairobi na hakujengea mama yake kwao all those things and then they will go to the nearest shopping center they will drink beer and they will forget about you then why when you're in this life when you can enjoy it and be happy the people who care for you you hold on to them, them people who really won't care even when you are gone another group of people that have chopped chop out of my life are them people who criticize every decision that you make i remember when i told her some people that i was uh, trying to open a youtube channel some of them were like una unafungua youtube channel uongeju ya nini unafungua youtube channel ya nini una youtube utafanya nini unajua nini and i'm like i have not asked you for bundles i've not asked you for a camera i've not asked you for a phone to 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 shoot them videos i've not asked you to help me to edit them videos why are you coming up with this negativity and like unafungua youtube channel ya nini ufanye nini wende wapi I remember when I told someone that I was thinking of building a house in Kenya, they were super critical like unajenga nyumba ya nini Kenya? Maybe hata utaenda kuishi huko. You never live there. Why are you building a house in Kenya? Guy, and I'm like, did I ask you for a packet of cement? Did I ask you for money to pay them fundies, them workers? Did I ask you for a piece of land? Like why should you tell why can't you tell me girl go do it that is an investment for your children but uh, yes there are some people who will never ever ever be happy for you they will just love to criticize they're super fast to criticize but to tell you go girl build that house buy that plot do this go back to school Mm -mm. They just want you to be on their level. And most people, by the way, they are those people who are just down there. They want you to be on their level. They want you to be at their level so that they can be you can be miserable like them. Me, I'm that kind of a person. If a family member, if a friend tells me, I'm thinking of doing this, do it. Do it. Like, go girl, go boy, go friend, go relative, do it. I'm not there to tell the people, hi, unafungua YouTube channel ya nini, unajenga nyumba ya nini, unanua gari ya nini, unapeleka swimi mtoto ya nini. Like please those are the people that I don't really need in my life no more. Yes, like I said YOLO, you only live once. Na sidai ona sanduku ya gorofa. When you die you die alone, you be buried alone and not so many people will cry for you. Um I some of them will just even laugh at you when you are there in that coffin. They be pretending they are crying. Please a man. Mama Davi Mama Lisa band but deep inside they are they are just laughing they're like hey how can i get hold of them shoes and bags and whatever so live your life and chop chop those people who really don't help you with anything in in your life there are those people who milk you you know when they're milking you like a ngombe fresh yeah like a fresh and cow you are good you are the best but when the milk dries or you when you switch off that water money tap for them they don't even look for you no more. Me, some of them people are only here from them when they want something. That is when they will remember they have my number. And then, by then nowadays, I pick a call, I hear you saying hello. And I've not heard from you for three years and I know you're calling me because you need some money. Mm. I am not going to continue with that conversation. I've, oh, sometimes they're like, like, unataka nini? And some of them will be like, eh, hey, I'm a good mood nowadays. What do you want? <laughs> and before it was super hard for me to be mean to people, to be selfish. But nowadays, I have to do it. I'm like, if my children are okay, if my, I'm mentally I'm fine, if financially I'm fine, if those people who really care for me are doing well, the other people are just a crowd. Yes, they're just a crowd. And by the way, I surround myself now with them. A very small circle, by the way. Yes, I've chopped, chopped them people who don't clap for me when I win, them selfish people, jealous people, envious people, because I'm not an envious person. I am a person who will cheer for, cheer for my friends and family. And then there's some people who will live your life when you're going through some shit, but then they will creep back. Maybe when you are better, you've gone to therapy, you are better. Now they'll creep back. They don't want to be there when you're suffering. They don't want to be there when you are down. They don't want to be there to, to, to give you, to lift you up. But when you're okay, you're making merry, you're having coffee, you're going to have a drink. You are inviting them to your house to eat, drink, make merry. That is when they want you. But then in this house, um, <laughs> very, very few, few people come here and I don't go to people's house anymore. I used to do that. Every weekend, I will pack pasta, I will pack oh, olive oil, I will pack this to go to them Kenyan people's homes. Nowadays, I don't. 
if i don't have anything to do let me edit my car video if you don't have anything to do let me read a book i will just go out with kenyans and the friends who really are good for my mental health if you are not you got struggle i don't care whether you say nowadays lisa mekua mbaya mekua na rombaya no she's she's not the way she used to be no it is the how whatever you are the way you are treating me that made me to change it is you that has made me to change and you know some people don't even accept the new you the you that does not really care anymore they, they, they just want the, the old you that they were using. When they will call you, you'll be there for them. When, they, when they, you just leave everything and run. People don't love the new you. The you that is a walk. Okay? They want the stupid you. Ata, ata nini? Ata msoili alisema. Mjinga kierabuka. Mwerebu huwa matatani. Okay? So, edehu. Let me end this video here. And please watch out for those people who don't clap for you when you win but you always clap for them and you wish them well but when something good happens to your life they're like they got to go <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching till next time ciao